Mm. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lady Tarot. See, I am back with another reading. This is going to be for all signs. Please know that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. But for those that this reading resonates with, y'all already know what to do. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get into this reading. Um, five card spread reading. This is going to be a reconciliation reading for all signs. Okay, I am going to be doing. Um, I am going to be doing reconciliation readings for each sign. I'm going to try to get those readings out today really early in the morning where I am and I have to get the, you know, we got to get the kids ready for school. So, so I just figured, let me just go get on here and do one reading, upload it, and then maybe later on I'll go live. I don't know. So let's see. <laughs> Overall energy, we have the Ten of Swords. So there was some sort of ending, betrayal. Uh, could have been with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Things just sort of came to an end here. Um, let's see. Let me just put these cards out here on the table. Hmm. So, like I said, the overall energy was some sort of ending here. Uh, see some conflicts, endings of some sort of conflict here with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and or air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um First card is where are you now? Um, this is the karma card. So um, you may be getting rewarded for things, especially if you are the one that has that had wrong done to them. You have the karma card. So this is about what goes around comes around. They could be going through their karma here. But this is a reconciliation spread. Your next task or step, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. So I feel like your next step, I feel like you're going to be focusing on yourself um, with this Queen of Pentacles energy. She cares for those who are around her. Yes, she's very generous and down to earth, but she really focuses on her family. Or I feel like you guys are going to be just focusing on yourself or your finances as well. The next card we have is the obstacles, the high priestess. So this person could have held some sort of secrets, you know, or you could definitely be um, using your intuition or needing to use your intuition when it comes to this person. Um, this person may have had secrets that could have been an obstacle in this relationship and why things fell apart, why things ended here with the Ten of Swords, okay? Um and the obstacle could just be you needing to go with your intuition here, okay? Because this person may be holding on to, I mean, this person may be having secrets or whatever, you know. Um, the next card is the strengths and resources, your strengths and your resources. We have the page of pentacles. So earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. You could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Um, but this is your strengths and your resources, the fact that I feel like you can... Uh, start over and, you know, offer your, your, your love to someone else or just, you know, focus on what you need. You know, you have the resources. This is almost like, you know, even though like pages stand for innocence, not really developed, but this is, this is something for like, this is potential, you know, this is a new start possibly. Um, and this is your strengths and resources. So it's really good. Um, your new focus and outcome, that seven of pentacles. So I feel like your focus and your outcome is just going to be you focusing on your finances, you focusing on what you need to build up. I do feel, especially um with the next task or your next step being the queen of pentacles, this is you focusing on yourself here, okay? Your finances, possibly, especially with the seven of pentacles. This is, you know, really working hard and getting rewarded for all of the hard work that you put in. Um, but also but also um, having the ability to save for later, <clears throat> you know, save your finances um, for a rainy day, possibly. Okay, so I do feel that your focus, I don't even, even though this was a reconciliation, 
reading spread. I don't even see. I feel like this person may have, you know, had a lot of secrets or could have just been hiding a lot of things. And I feel like you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on what you need done. You're focusing on your own craft. And I feel like <clears throat> with the overall energy being this ending, and it could have been conflict surrounding this. And I feel like with the Eight of Swords, this person may have been trying to play the victim as well, um, you know, when causing all of this drama or trying to play the victim role as if they didn't cause drama or confrontation or conflicts within the relationship. But I do feel that with this Ten of Swords, it was definitely some sort of conflicts or tension within the relationship and it could have possibly been involving another person because this ten of swords also stands for like betrayal okay so keep in mind of that it's not going to resonate with everyone but um for the most part i really do feel like you know i feel like you're not focused on reconciling with this person i do feel like you're focused on yourself you may be even um offering you know wanting to offer someone else you know an offer i feel or you may be just taking your energy and focusing on something else you know or someone else okay so hmm, that's what i have i wish i had my other cards i would have pulled some romance angels cards but um what i'll do i'll clarify this obstacle with the high priestess yeah, we have the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles. So the obstacle is definitely going to be you needing to use your intuition because you know this person is definitely um, may have, you know, had a lot of secrets as well. And you needing to use your intuition. And we clarify the High Priestess with the um, with the Knight of Pentacles. So this person may have been slow in giving you a commitment or offering you a commitment or something stable here um, with this slow moving night you know this slow moving energy this is the slowest moving night in the whole deck okay so um <clears throat> and they could have been slow moving for a reason because this person could have been holding back uh you know information could have been holding secrets as well and that's what i'm getting okay so if this reading resonated with you guys please like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time hopefully i'll be able to go live next time I'm trying to still get some things together and get some things straight um, I'm sending love and positivity to you out, to all of you, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.